Hey y'all, this is Shalana. I am here to show you guys how to add on to your foundation. By now, you should be about four to six weeks into the regimen of using your cleanser, sunscreen, moisturizer um, in your midday mist. And so now that we've established a routine, it is time to target, okay, and protect the skin even more, okay? And so the first thing I wanna show y'all is, first of all, I just got out of the shower, just came from the gym, got out of the shower, so I washed my face in the shower, okay? So my face is dry and clean, and now I'm gonna use my brightening pads um, on my face. So I'll take one out. And these are mixed at time of purchase, so they can stay moist and this is what this looks like. I'm gonna apply it over my face. These contain kojic acid, arbutin, um, vitamin C, which is really good for the skin, green tea, which is antioxidant, so you get polyphenols for that green tea, antioxidant protection, and I just continue to rub. A lot of times I'll put it on my elbows, on my knees, but this is the first layer that you wanna put right after the cleansing step, okay? So I'm gonna let this dry, and then once I'm done, then I'll go on to my next step, which is vitamin C. Okay, so think about, my vitamin C, first of all, is called refine, okay? So think about the vitamin C, like what is vitamin C? Why do I need it? First of all, healthy level, a healthy and youthful skin contains vitamin C, but of course, as we age, everything goes, goes down and vitamin C is no uh, exception. Okay, so this is why we need vitamin C. So vitamin, what it does for the skin is it brightens, tightens, and it lightens. Okay, so during the daytime when we're out and about moving around in the radiation, the environment is uh, wreaking havoc on our skin, uh, discoloring our skin, um, aging our skin, and making it blotchy and even, we want to put vitamin C on our skin every single morning as a protectant, okay? So think about brightening the skin, tightening the skin, and lightening the skin, okay? So this is a vitamin C, and then it comes in a dropper like this, and I put a few droppers in the palm of my hands, and then usually I kind of scoop it up, it's more than a few. <laughs> so when we're thinking about brightening, we're thinking about evening up skin tone and brightening our skin tone up, okay? Lighten means that it's gonna also help to lighten dark spots that plague us after any form of injury, especially those acne spots that are left behind, and tighten. Vitamin C also tightens the skin because it stimulates collagen and elastin protection. Um, it stimulates <laughs> collagen and elastin growth, which is basically the box spring and mattress of our skin. So of course we want the box spring and mattress of our skin really tight because then the skin above it will be tight, okay? So that's why it's good to have a vitamin C supplement into your regimen. Please secure it. When you are when you're done, get in the habit of securing it because in a, in a moment of haste and sanity and just an accident, you can bump it over and it fall all over the cabinet. Trust me, I've done it before. I know I'm the plug, but it's that, that's painful to you to lose all your vitamin C. I have literally taken it off the cabinet and scooped it and just started rubbing it on my whole body and my whole chest. So please get in the habit of securing it. When you, when you finish using it every single time, that way you don't have no problems, okay? Um, another thing about the vitamin C, it's photoprotective. So it will protect your skin from the radiation. Pretty much all your products in your day regimen should be focused towards, again, protection. So vitamin C is another layer of protection because we had vitamin C in the pads and then we also have, of course, I vi vitamin C serum, okay? And so the next thing I wanna introduce in another one of, they all my favorites really, but I'm gonna just keep it moving. <laughs> the next one is Radiant. So Radiant is a kojic acid serum. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take it and then I put it on my fingertips like this. And then I'll massage it in really well. One more layer to protect. This has um, hyaluronic acid in here. The kojic acid, this is um, a really nice, really, just it feels good. We call it cosmetically elegant serum. Bring it on down to your neck. Generally avoid the eye area when you're putting serums and stuff like that on. 
And then that's it. That is my next three steps that I would recommend that you bring into the regimen to start targeting and correcting dark spots, making sure that you're always on offense from the radiation, from the sun, from the environment, from the pollution and the toxins and from, and from the people. <laughs> That's uh, ruining your skin, messing up your peace and ruining your skin, okay? And so to move on further, and again, this is something that I use every single morning. Vitamin C, I use only in the morning. So think about it as a reminder, like when am I supposed to use this? You're like, okay, vitamin C, orange juice in the morning, okay? So only in the morning time, the radiant I use morning and night, and then the brightening pads as well, morning and night, okay? So the next thing that I would do, I'm gonna add some hyaluronic acid into my skin. My hyaluronic acid is called HA Boost. This is what it looks like. Again, healthy, young skin contains hyaluronic acid. The estrogen in our body produces hyaluronic acid and hydrates our skin. Hydrated skin looks better, it feels better, and it's gonna function better. So I want hyaluronic acid every day. It's not only because it's cold outside is because I want it all on my face <laughs> and hyaluronic acid is one way to get all of it okay so I again I would use this morning and night and then the next layer I will do today I think moisturizer where did I put it my hubby's back so he may have stolen it from where is it See, I was blaming hubby and it wasn't even him. So it was me. I actually had ran out and forgot to go get my, replenish my stash. So this is my nighttime nourish. Um, this is my second most hydrating um, moisturizer. It has hyaluronic acid in here, um, niacinamide. Let's see, I'm trying to make sure. Um, niacinamide. Come on. <laughs> Green tea. This is a brand new bottle. Come on, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is how much I have here. And then, y'all, I love the, oh, this feels so good. I put it a little bit extra because I used retinol last night. Retinol decreases oil production. So sometimes that dryness can, I'm sorry, that um, the night, the day or two after, your skin can feel really dry. And because we're supposed to be getting more cold air, I added a little bit of hydration, extra moisture for a um, moisturizer for hydration with that. All right, last thing I'm going to use is my eye gel. This is my HA eye gel, hyaluronic acid eye gel. The eye area does not produce moisture, and so it's very key to hydrate this area. Tap, 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 tap with looking up. Use your ring finger to apply. Once you have laid the product down, then you can use the slip of the product to zhuzh it back and forth. Then you do this over the eyes, right right here. And that's it, okay? The last step, but the most critical of them all is to seal in all this layering and protection and, and, <laughs> and love that you have put on your skin with sunscreen every day, every single day. If you have breath in your body, put sunscreen on, okay? If you wake up, if you wake up, you got to put sunscreen on that day. The only time you cannot, you don't need to put sunscreen on is if you go on the glory, okay? You're not going to need no sunscreen over there, okay? From what they tell me. I don't know. That's what they say. Okay? Because black do, black do crack, okay? I've seen it. I know. I'm not. I'm not lying to y'all. Black does crack. Okay. It don't crack like the rest crack, but black do crack. Okay. Okay. Drag it down to your face. I put a. I put a skin amount on my my lids, and that's it for that step. Okay. 
that was my tinted moisturizer uh, tinted sunscreen uh, by the way that i'm in love with last step again last thing we're gonna seal it in some more with protecting the skin okay we're going out this is a midday mist I call it a midday mist, but if people are working on your nerves and it is four o'clock in the afternoon, you can spray this, okay? It's called midday mist. It is a fine mist of green tea, chamomile, sea salt, again, polyphenols. A lot of my product my ingredients in my product line contain antioxidants because we know how good they are for the skin. They help to, um, to reverse free radical damage. That's just a part of us being alive. Okay, and so this midday mist, we can mist on our skin. And this is what it looks like. Now, you can also use this as a setting mist if you're wearing foundation and it's looking a little bit too powdery and you want to bring the life of your skin forward instead of having the foundation looking forward and, and, um, and powdery. You can sprinkle, I'm sorry, mist that on your skin as well. Again, if people are working on your nerves, you can miss, miss yourself to kind of calm yourself down. Um, if your bank account is not looking as good as you think it should look that particular day, you can go ahead and mist yourself. You know, and you, you could find this out at six o'clock at night. Again, it doesn't matter, okay? So last step of the regimen, Definitely, definitely, definitely uh, use it in the morning um, and then use it as needed for the circumstances that I just told y'all about, okay? So now I am ready to start my day. I am gonna blow dry my hair and then get dressed and get started for the day. Another thing too that I can mention is, this is a lot of steps and a lot of layering. Obviously I'm on an advance, you know, uh, I gotta keep my skin together, okay? Um, this is the next couple of steps into the regimen. Feel free to add in the brightening pads. If you're not really sure, add the brightening pads. Um, let's see what I would do. The brightening pads, uh, I would do all three of them. <laughs> yeah, this is an advanced regimen, but you need different layers for a really complete, um, um, and protective, uh, regimen for the day. Okay. All right. So if y'all have any questions, put them down in the comments. Toodle.